In a small southern woodland, a creature is searching for food. A small squirrel, a surprisingly common animal in this area. But the squirrel isn't the creature that we talked about. Silas. His wounds from the fight with the Utah Raptor pack have healed, more or less. But there is another problem. The reason he killed such a small animal here is because Delta has stopped hunting with him. Silas hasn't even seen her eat in days. It's obvious that something is wrong. But he doesn't know what. All she does now, it seems, is rest. On the opposite side of the island, in the northern forest, we see Jane. Since her parents were killed, she has been moving further and further into the woods. Further and further from her old home, where Fang and Caroline now dominate. But there is danger here as well. Pterosaurs circle above, waiting for her to drop from starvation or exhaustion. Jane runs in response to a loud noise. The noise was made by this Triceratops. He may be a herbivore, but he knows that baby tyrannosaurs grow up into big ones eventually. If he sees Jane, he will not hesitate to take out what could one day be a danger to him. Finally, he moves off. Back on the south side, in the dark woodland, the raptor pack is going about their usual behaviors. Switchblade and Shredder have been infighting lately, 
and it appears today is no different. Razor knew that letting Shredder into his pack would cause problems with the amount of males around, and it's obvious that he was correct. In a remote region of the southern rivers, near the coast, we see Red Sail. Since Dark Claw drove him out of his territory, Red Sail has hardly been able to feed himself, let alone Anubis. Mainly because the only animals in this area of the rivers are not fish, but crocodilians, like this caiman. Anubis has never seen his father like this before. It's making him fearful of the one individual he thought he could trust. 